Okay, guys, so I wanted to show y'all well, some problems on work equals force times distance. So, our okay, so the problem says two people push a sumo wrestler up a hill on a sled with 400 newtons. They move him one meter. How much work did they do? So, you want to start off, let me get a color picked out. You want to start off by putting your force, your distance, and your work. So your force would be 400 newtons. So you put 400, but you have to write kg in the meters over seconds squared. And your distance would be one meter. And then for your work, you are going to have to put a question mark because right here it says how much work did they do. So we don't know. And then you're going to come up here and you're going to write work equals force times distance. So your next step is going to write work equals 400 kg and then meters over seconds squared times one meter. Sorry, I had to squeeze that in. And then you're going to write work equals. So what you have to do is you have to do 400 times one meter. So your answer would be 400. So you're going to write 400 kg and then meters over seconds squared. And you're, you have to change it into joules, so your answer is going to be 400 joules. So that is your answer for that problem. On to the next. So it says a body, a body builder pushes a couch with a force of 100 newtons and it moves 10 meters. How much work did he do? So you're going to start off the problem like we did earlier with your work in the corner. So you're going to put F, D, and W. So it's work and distance and force. For the force, you have 100, um, 100 newtons. So you're going to write 100 kilograms in meters over seconds squared. And the next part says distance so he moves 10 meters so you're at 10 meters and for the work it's we don't know so we're going to put a question mark because it says how much work did he do so you just put a question mark and then we're going to start the problem pretty much so you're going to write work equals force times distance and then you're going to write Work equals 100 kg and then meters over seconds squared times 10 meters. Sorry, it kind of runs into the problem. And then work equals, so you do the times again, so you times 100 uh, kilograms over meters over seconds squared times 10 meters. So your answer is 1,000 kilograms and then meters over seconds squared. And you have to turn that into joules, so your answer would be 1,000 joules. And then box your answer or circle it, and that is your answer for this problem. On the next, it says, if you push a car with a force of 300 newtons, um, and it moves four meters, how much work did you do? So, we're going to come up here, and we're going to write force, distance, and work. So, for force, you have 300 newtons, and so you're going to write 300 over kg, I mean 300 kg and then 
meters over seconds squared. Sorry, I'm a little tired. And then distance equals four meters, which you get right here. And then for the work, you put a question mark. And that is because it says, how much work did you do? So for the next part, you put work equals force times distance. And then you, for the next step, so you're going to have four steps on every single problem, as you can tell. Work equals 300 kilograms, which you get from force. So 300 kilograms in meters over seconds squared. And then you have to do times it by distance. So that would be times four meters. And you get work equals you have to do 300 times 4 meters. Let me check real quick. Okay. So 300 times 4. So you get 1,200. Let me check that one more time because I'm not really sure on this one. So you get 1,200, yes. And you put kg, sorry about that, meters over seconds squared. And you have to change that into joules, so your answer would be 1,200 joules. And then you box or circle your answer. And then you are, you are done. Okay, I, I hope you're doing homework.